Hi, this is Ryan with BetterTattooing.com. Fifth take on this one. We'll see if we get it right. Today we're going to be talking about viewability. Yeah! Alright, now that that's over, we're back at it. Let's think about what viewability is. Viewability is how something is seen. Very simple, right? Ooh. So if we have a tattoo design that's going to be on somebody, let's say this is a forearm, right? If it's on the front, the back, the inside, the outside, the viewability is just going to be like how it's translated when somebody's looking at it in relation to that tattoo, right? If you have a tattoo design on the inside of your forearm and your arm is relaxing down at your side and somebody is standing beside you or behind you, they're not going to really be able to see what's going on. Maybe they get a little glimpse or a little hint of something that pops out. And there's a little piece that's sticking out, something like that. They can see what's going on. But they're not going to really be able to see the tattoo design until the person who is wearing the tattoo opens up and shows them what's going on with it. At the same time, if we're going to be going into larger scale design, viewability can be described as how a design, how a design moves and engages a viewer from multiple angles, right? So what do we mean by this? All right, most of the time when we do a tattoo design, we think about everything in a two-dimensional space, right? We have our X and our Y coordinates, and we create a stencil based off this stuff, which is just going to be like super simple. Here's a tricep line, here's a shoulder, we got an elbow break that's going to come down, and then forearm stuff that's going like this, right? So we're thinking about that mapping of viewability in a very two-dimensional sp two dimensional space. We're trying to think about how to create depth in this two-dimensional space. Because that's, that's what art is, right? Like if we think about like painting or drawing or various other forms of like two-dimensional art, we're working with like a canvas or a piece of paper or something like that, we're adding things to it to create the illusion of depth, right? When realistically, like tattooing is not the same. Like we're removing bits of the person to create the illusion of depth. And it's much more like sculpture, in my opinion, than, you know, standard painting or drawing or things like this. So when I start thinking about mapping out something for viewability, I'm not thinking about a two-dimensional plane or something that's going to be interacting with a person at large. I'm going to be thinking about four distinct sections, right? I'm going to be thinking about the inside, the outside, the front, and the back, okay? So now you think about these inside of a design, these four distinct spaces are gonna occupy different viewability angles or different points where people are gonna interact with the tattoo much differently. If you put something in the front, somebody standing in front of you is gonna be able to see the tattoo design, interact with it, engage with it, and maybe wanna see more, especially when you get into large scale design, right? If you have something that's just on the back, like somebody's going to have to walk around to see the rest of it, right? If it's on the inside, you have to open up to see it. If it's on the outside and when you're at rest, it's very apparent to how people are going to view it. So when we're doing large scale design, we should think about things like this, right? Think about viewability. Like, should we be engaging all four? Or if you want to even like segment this more, you probably can. But do we want to in include like all four of these viewability angles in each aspect of the design should there be different things inside of them should the ones that are like more hidden away from you know the the encounters that you may run into on the street or otherwise should they be like easter eggs or things that are more personal should the things that are like on the outside of the arm that everyone's going to see should they be more like answering stupid question-esque you know like serve that purpose so I guess to make it like simple, like viewability is always going to be left up to whoever's doing the design, the tattoo, but we should probably look at viewability, not only as just who's looking at it, but where they're looking at it. Viewability is not just a two dimensional space where we're creating a design that is super complex. that looks great on paper, a real tattoo, a custom tattoo, a custom tattoo that is fit to the individual is going to be focusing on these four aspects, not just something that looks good on paper, and on an X, Y coordinate, but things that look good from four different, very distinct angles and work well together. Anyways, this is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.